TVs aren't replaced often. But if you have some disposable income lying around, I won't be surprised if you get out there to purchase this TV after this review. I know, because I would. This is the TV to compare all TVs with. It's packed with all the new tech and features, even the design. Now that's a place to start. The design. The most visible, or should I rather say the most invisible design feature here is the bezel. The bezel is a frame that borders the TV and over here it is almost non-existent. All I can say is see, see, see. Samsung's intention to make you see just the content and not the frame around the TV makes it hard not to put it on the highest pedestal where it belongs. The TV itself is as thick as its older brother's remote control. Another thing that's invisible on this TV is the speakers. The perforated frame around the TV is actually where the speakers are and the subwoofers are in the back in a 6.2.2 channel system. You know what that means? 10 speakers in total and that's producing 80 watts. It's safe to say if you don't have a home theater system, you can still enjoy this TV sound. The inbuilt sound has some extra features that I'll touch on in detail later. Samsung continues the trend of aesthetically pleasing design elements with a TV stand. It's slim, flat and centered. Unlike other TVs where you have feet on each side, this means whatever stand you plan on putting this TV on, it doesn't have to be as wide as the TV. The stand is also really firm and the TV doesn't wobble at all. I've seen other TVs that wobble when you put them on a the stand. I think one word that can describe perfectly this TV is minimalist. For a while now, Samsung's premium TVs have been aiming to reduce cable clutter by having a separate unit called the One Connect Box and it houses all but one of the TV's ports. This is personally much better than plugging in several cables into the back of the TV itself, especially when your TV is wall mounted, then you have all these cables coming out of the side of the TV or underneath the TV. It can be an eyesore. As I already mentioned, the QN900A, as this TV is called, lets you attach the One Connect box directly to the back of the stand if you don't have a good hiding spot for it. The One Connect box has three USB 2.0 ports, one Ethernet port, one optical output, an RF antenna input, and four HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which is offering eARC support. Samsung's QN900A Neo QLED 8K TV is a TV that's class leading when it comes to design. With bezels that have been reduced to the point of being nearly non-existent, speaker grills that are only visible from the side, and a minimalist stand that also provides additional functionality, the QN900A's design is what every TV manufacturer should aspire to. If you've owned or used a Samsung Smart TV in the last few years, you'll know what to expect from the QN900A's Smart Tizen-based OS. A press of the home button on your remote brings up your favorite apps and sources from the bottom edge of the display in a horizontal line that does not interfere with anything on the screen. And while you cycle through the menus, you will see additional information pop up above the initial row of apps. For instance, hovering over a streaming service like Netflix will present you with a view of your recently viewed shows and movies, allowing you to continue directly from your home screen. Out of the box, all the most popular apps and services are here and there's dedicated app styles with further app suggestions which you can install. I found and installed Spotify and Plex. The remote also has a couple of dedicated buttons that allow you to quickly launch Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, but the latter diverse by region. In terms of design, the Neo QLED 8K's remote is quite similar to what Samsung's been offering with its other TVs over the last few years, but this year's model has a new trick up its sleeve and no longer needs batteries. It has a new panel on the rear that's able to absorb light, both natural and artificial, to keep itself charged up. Now that's thoughtful. Samsung choosing to get rid of batteries is not only great for the environment, it's also made the remote itself incredibly light in the hand and will last a whole year on a single charge. That said, you will have to get used to placing the remote face down when you've finished using it. It also has a USB-C slot allowing you to charge it with any Type-C charger or even with your phone. Now to what you've all been waiting for. How does the TV perform? This here TV for this mini LED technology is about to give OLED a run for its money without the disadvantages. Mini LEDs are able to achieve far more precision because they are smaller and you'll notice less blooming. So the act of seeing bright areas on the screen unnaturally bleed over into darker spots is greatly reduced or not evident at all. 
I watched various videos with very dark areas and immediately the deep blackness I was presented with had me in wonder. That I was able to see all the Vegas lights on one side of the screen without light bleeding around them was more than impressive for a non-OLED display. Now skipping to my favorite kind of content, cars, specifically BMWs. The detail here was off the charts with an intense clarity that looked sensational even though it was originally 4K. I couldn't help but wonder what 8K would look like because damn. The next thing I opened up, the harder they fall. Once again, I was impressed by how sharp and clean the film looked on the N900A. It offered an incredible amount of detail rich colors and deep blacks. It's worth mentioning that I did notice some instances of light bleed in one scene but the sheer amount of brightness when this TV is in dynamic mode makes up for that. OLED could never. One of the big selling points of any 8K TV is how well it handles upscaling and thankfully the QN900A does a great job of making content look crystal clear without any artificial smoothing. Take the above scene as an example, it's clean and sharp, yet you can still make out its fine film light -like grain. Taking advantage of Samsung's multi-intelligence AI upscaling, the QN900A was consistently able to produce images that looked better than their source. I'm not saying that it made any 4K content look like 8K, but it did make it appear better than Ultra HD when viewed up close. On 8K TVs, Pixels are much closer together and therefore they are much difficult to individually make out than on 4K sets. While there's not a lot that can be done with older standard definition content these days, it didn't look especially stretched out or fuzzy on this massive 8K screen. Here in Ghana we have HD Plus now, so you can install the app on your TV and get native HD TV content that gets upscaled to 8K and it looks pretty damn good. Samsung's AI-powered Neo Quantum Processor 8K chip is necessary to stitch together these additional pixels in a way that's clean and natural looking without any fuzziness. If you're a gamer, I'm going to make a separate video for you. Although I would most likely use a soundbar or a dedicated speaker system if I own this TV, I chose to limit the usage just to the TV's inbuilt speakers to get a better understanding of the Neo QLED's built-in sound offering. As I mentioned earlier, the QN900A speakers have been integrated into the left and right sides of the TV and you won't find audio shooting out of the back of this TV, but Samsung's much touted object tracking sound pro feature does a good job of bringing depth to whatever you happen to be watching, making it easy to track noises moving from left to right. While there was some dimensionality to be found here, the TV's built-in speakers can match a real soundbar home theater system when it comes to providing a truly convincing three-dimensional soundscape. In summary, this TV has the latest in mini LED lighting technology, exceptional picture quality and impressive sound. And as I've already stated, Samsung's QN900A Neo QLED 8K, oh my goodness that's a mouthful, is the new benchmark in televisions. And with its near invisible bezel and speakers, its stunning minimalist stand, the QN900A is one seriously gorgeous television challenging competing manufacturers to catch up. Not only does this TV offer the latest HDMI 2.1 and eARC features, it's also ideal for gamers who've recently invested in a next gen console or a beast of a gaming PC. There's still a plethora of features I haven't yet touched on and I'll be making videos on each as I enjoy this TV temporarily. So if you want the best TV currently out there, buy it. If you want the best looking TV on the market, buy it. If you want a television that's future proof, buy it. My name is Kobe Spike and Chroma and this has been my initial review of the Samsung QN900A Neo QLED 8K TV. Peace.